Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Transgender is people who want to be a, a boy or a girl. I mean, I, th I like the way how like, you can just transform into anything. There's a girl in my school who is really boyish. Everyone's fine with that. But when there's a boy being girlish, no one's fine with that. Come in. Let's take you upstairs. <laughs> These are too hard to walk in. <laughs> I got these, which I bought myself. These are brand new that I, when I bought them. Expensive shoes. Well, they're not. Expensive for me, there you go. That's got nice gold heel. They're really nice. This is where, all, where I keep all my palettes. I used this one on the lid today. That one and that one. I don't usually use it because it's terrible and they're not, it's not usable. Trust me. This is where I... So this is all of my makeup palettes. I don't. I was going to say I don't really want to break any of them, but I think it's too late. He does play out sometimes, but he likes to hang out. He likes to hang out with adults a lot, um, or he likes to sit and do his, his makeup and, and dressing up and things like that. And but he knows what he likes, um, and he and he doesn't try to change that to fit in. Everyone was telling me you're so girly. I'm like, what does that mean? I don't see it as different. I just see it as me and normal. But Leo's not the typical boy, as in what society perceives a boy to be. He's been like that for, for forever, really. I don't necessarily want to be a girl. I want to be a boy doing makeup. Pretty normal, I guess. He found RuPaul's Drag Race. I didn't think it was appropriate at first at all. And I started to see that he was sort of running around the house doing splits and, and doing uh, lip syncing. And he was kept saying phrases. There you go. Everything sort of went up a gear then when he sort of accessed that. It was bigger and bolder. And drag became <laughs> life. And uh, Leo became Violet Vixen. I feel like it should be that one. No, I like that one. It's, okay. That one's more green, that one's blue. Go on then. You're the artist. You yes. haven't put on any concealer. I did, because I used that word. I took it out your drawer. <laughs> you were on when you were at school. Go. I also use your nail polish as well. <laughs> Gel nails. What do you wish was different about me? Nothing. Uh, about how boring you'd be? No, it would be boring. You'd be something else, wouldn't you? But life with Leo isn't boring. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. It seems to be sort of like a, a common misconception that I influence what he's doing, and um, you know he must have learnt this from somewhere. But it really, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not into makeup and you know drag and all that. That's that's, that's not what I'm into. He's he's developed that like on his own. I've got a YouTube channel called Violet Vixen Makeup. It's mostly about makeup tutorials. And I've got a how to drag series. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's like how you would do drag, but cover up uh, eyebrows. Uh, there's different ways. It's just like a beginner's pack. But that's just how I do it. People need to experiment it with themselves. Like a little child's dream is always YouTube. I've always wanted to have like a YouTube channel 
and for people to actually watch it. I hate the word fan, so um, I'm making my uh, fans uh, vixens. So I'm gonna call fan mail vixen mail from now on. And I've had a few. Um, someone got me a contouring palette, and I'm already running out with it. Quite a lot of people like me. It doesn't matter, like even if they're older or younger, they usually want others to be themselves because most people feel like they're trapped in a box. Because I got a message today from someone on Instagram saying, "I wish I could tell my parents you are really lucky." Uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to make other people's lives easier for being themselves. What would you do if I banned you from wearing makeup? And I made you wear traditional boys' clothes. One, how do you know it's traditional? And two, I'd run away from you. You'd run away? Being online is quite risky. Um, I know for a child, and I've been told several times by several different concerned family members that I probably shouldn't allow it, but I do have joint admin on my phone, so he, ha he has Instagram and YouTube. Um, and any in, any notifications he gets, they come on my phone first. And I tend to delete sort of any sort of hate comments before he can see them to just sort of try and save his feelings a little bit. You're so talented and obviously work very hard. Oh my God, you've made my day. Aww. I haven't come across any hate ones. I'll show you one. I'll show you what came on. This is one I haven't deleted. It's on here. So this one here, this, this person here is written that, what does it say? You ugly. I wonder if he would actually say that to me in person. You wonder if he said to you in person? Yep, he wouldn't dare. Would not, okay. But no, no, <laughs> no. She said it's for women, for grown up ladies. Oh, come on. Oh, there's somebody. She some... cross-eyed AF. Do you know what AF means? Yes. Okay. Before he came out as this sort of flamboyant, sort of quirky person. Um, it was always there. There was a sort of period where I did get rid of the dresses and all that sort of thing, and he became quite angry and sort of misbehaving a lot till we realised that actually it's because we're taking all this stuff away from him and saying, you know, no, go out and play, do this, do that. Um, and when we started letting him sort of choose things a bit more, he sort of all went, went, kind of went away a little bit, but he does get frustrated a lot. So when I'm obsessed with something, I'll learn everything about it. In nursery, I knew I used to like write letters to the government about politics. I used to research volcanoes when I was in nursery as well. And then when I was like two, my baby brother's age, I knew every single car that was around at that time. So, here's the tea. When I was like seven or eight, I was obsessed with vehicles and cars. My favorite type of racing, car racing, was drag racing. I searched drag race on Netflix just to see what would come up, and then I saw RuPaul's Drag Race. So I started watching it, and I was like, what is this? These aren't cars. These are humans. Why are women on this? Really tall women. And then in walks Courtney Act, first drag queen I ever saw. I watch more episodes, I become more obsessed and more obsessed. So I decided that I would kind of want to do that. So I tried and tried and I have failed. And look where I am now. <laughs> it's a man. Today I'm gonna go to like this performance with Starlight that I'm a part of, and I'm in junior A. Uh, we're doing three dances, um, and then we're doing the finale, which is so technically it's four. And I'm getting ready for that. It's meant to be show makeup, so I'm meant to look pretty. <sighs> Great. I'm, I'm a bit. I'm just scared if I mess up quite a lot. I've got like anxiety a lot, so I keep on thinking of all the bad things that could happen. Messing up, um, 
my way, I mean my hair coming out and um, falling off the stage. Are you excited? Yeah. It's your first show. This is your first show. It's the big thing, isn't it? Big deal. My mum's like really good with it because I've had stories of people like me were thrown out of their houses from it. So I'm actually really, really lucky. He is a lot more mature in ways than other 10 year olds. He's not more independent. I think he, I feel like he depends on me a lot more than, than my daughter depends on me. I keep your excitement. You leave. Yeah, we're leaving here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later on over there. Yes, you have. I know you hate that. At the moment, he is the only boy in his uh, junior group at the moment. There are other boys in the dance school. The, the girls at his age, or not even particularly girls, just the kids of his age, seem to be really confused with um, with him as, a, as, as how, he, how he behaves. Um, whereas we see a lot of the older kids, specifically girls, seem to be really accepting of it. So you'll find that he flocks towards them more. And I think it's because of that they're more accepting. That's why I think at the moment he finds it really hard to make friends of his age group. I don't really have too much friends, but oh well. At least I have best friends who are always there. Leo is like really, really just pop. It's really cool because he's, I never see anybody in my class or anything, even when they're out like wearing makeup or anything, being different. Thank you. <laughs> We've been here nine hours rehearsing constantly, constantly. And then you have to do it again in front of a whole entire audience, which by the way is really scary. But then again, it kind of helps because the lights are really damaging your eyes and you can't see. Um, we are in the middle of the show. Um, we've done two dances and we're now on act two. My dance, um, that I'm the main character, is important to me because it's about something that's happened in my life, because it's about the bullies who didn't support me because I wore makeup. And then you become friends with them at the end, which is not a true story in real life. School was quite difficult for him at first with, um, in terms of wearing boys' school uniform. Um, and one of the first things that he did was start to wear girls' cardigans to school and leggings. Um, and that was when he started being called gay a lot and um, sort of people started to notice he was different. I was always bully, I was always called gay lord and stuff like that. And I was like, what? I never knew what any of it means. I just didn't quite know what to do or what was happening. And then there was a school disco and he went to the school disco dressed in uh, a pair of skinny jeans and high heels and a flowery shirt and that was the first time that anyone saw him as him. And I always love school discos. I actually don't think we have enough school discos. Uh, but just like every school disco, most children are there for like the sweets and I'm just there to be in the front row dancing constantly. Um, what was the question? <laughs> People had called him some horrible names at that disco, but he just didn't seem to it didn't seem it didn't seem to bother him at all. I just went there and said, if you if you don't like it, then move. As long as you're happy with yourself, that's all that matters. All I know is we're going to Brighton on a train. Oh, I'm feeling great, refreshed, vibes everywhere, says no one. I've never been to Brighton before. I don't know that much about Brighton, to be honest. No idea, hopefully a sunny beach. Wish we could do it for like more than two days though. Stay there for more than two days. Wish we could stay there for like a long time. We could try and sort his hair out. I hate it when people call me Ginger. 
surprised. Even though when people do, I correct them. Because they always say, shut up, Ginger. I'm like, actually, it's all over me. <laughs> Hello, Ginger. Tax, I go in the front, suckers. Hopefully, it's really sunny there. Yeah. Nice. It's sunny in Corby, isn't it? It must be sunny everywhere. Okay. Love you! Bye! Ain't no business like show business. What school do you want to pop in? If you dress like that, then you, you will be looked at. But if I dress like that, it's not the best. You, and you can clearly see that they're looking at you, then they could at least smile. You don't even notice, do you, when people look at you? No, I don't have a it's good time. I is the thing, but I think I look. I think I might look for it. I don't know though. Actually, I don't. I just it's thought it was. Protective. I'm having yeah. a good time, so. It was incredibly like it was like on the first train when that guy like they sort of like the few of them when we walked past they just kind of stopped talking. So immediately you can notice they stopped talking, and then they like looked at each other and they were like shaking their heads at each other. Or well, the man was. He was like turning around looking, and there was no sort of like I don't know. Oh, I nice. think it's very good that it doesn't seem to bother you all that much. <laughs> Just flick the weed and you'll be okay. Hello. Don't touch my hair, don't touch my weed. We're in Brighton! Finally! <laughs> Brighton for Leo was so like, it was like romantic, like he, he was so in love with it. He just he just kept saying, why can't I, why can't we live here? Why can't we live here constantly? Oh gosh. Wow. I think what he liked most about it is he just wasn't sticking out or out of place. There was just so many different people there. And he loved it. <laughs> this is fancy. This is also very strange. <sighs> So, what we're actually here for is we're going to a show. What? We're going. We're going to go to a show. You didn't know that. But before we go to the show, we're going to meet the person as well whose show it is. And the show that we're going to is Courtney Act. <laughs> so we're going to go meet Courtney Act. At first, I didn't believe her because I knew I was underaged, but. I was just shocked. I gotta get a new outfit together for Courtney. No, <laughs> that is the outfit. That's the whole reason I bought you stuff. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna cry. No, I'm gonna wear makeup. I was going to cry, but I had to like do that with tissue, blah blah blah. Because this mascara is not gonna run. Okay? <laughs> No. Mm. Um, and we're going to pay that. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> Little old me. Little old me, I know. School's quite hard for him. It's not something that he finds very easy. Because he's got interests that aren't sort of for his age range, he's, there's not really anybody in school that he sort of gels with or like manages to form relationships with easily. And so he finds it quite lonely and he, he, he just sort of can't wait to not be there. He's not wishing his childhood away, but it's to the point where he's thinking, you know, if I just get this piece of life done, then I'm, when I'm an adult, I'm gonna have a great life. But it's just about sort of reminding him and, and sort of like, of taking him out to do things and showing showing him, uh, you know what, you know what, what eventually he's going to end up having as he gets uh, sort of when he gets older. Oh 
Ik ben daar zo snel bij stuurt. Hi. Look who's here. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have fun? Did you enjoy the show? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw you in the audience, having a good time. <laughs> and tell me what. What, what, what's going on? Why are we here? They surprised me when we got into our hotel room and um, they told me I was coming to see you and I cried. Aww. <laughs> Good cries though, not like, no, I don't want to go and see Courtney, she's horrible. <laughs> Why Bianca? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, um, do you like performing? Do you just like wearing colourful things? What's your... I like dance. You like dance? Yeah. We did a show last night in the Corby Cube. What's that? Um, it was like a theatre in Corby. Cool. What kind of dance did you do? We had to perform different songs from different eras. Is that the right word? Is there any Spice Girls? Um, no, sadly. What was that? <laughs> what songs? It was like Backstreet Boys, Rachel Glass, Buddy Blah, Blah. Can't remember the rest, but I'm very tired. Aww. What did you want to ask? Um, when you were my age, how did you get along with finding friends? Well, it's funny that you said dance school, because when I was 11, I remember going to dance school and that was kind of like my safe haven, because there was lots of other kids there that understood me and then I understood them. I always found school was like a little bit challenging. I think when I was 11 I went to, I changed schools and I went to like a new school and I didn't like it at all, but I always had like my dance school, I just found like that one group of friends who got me and understood me. I only got to see them once a week, but that was sort of still enough. Same with me. Yeah. And we didn't have like texting or Instagram or anything back then, so oh, I literally sad. only saw them once a week. So you can probably keep in contact with them throughout the week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you been finding it tricky making friends at school or...? Yeah. Yeah. That's annoying. But you've got friends at, at dance school? Yeah. Yeah. I think as you as you sort of like get older and grow up, a lot of that um, that sort of trouble in finding friends becomes easier, I think, because you just get to slowly accumulate more people who understand you and who think the same. And I think you just have to keep, you know, like living who you are and celebrating it every single day. And, and that lipstick is lovely. I did see you touching it up. And I'm glad that you did, because if you'd come back here with imperfect lips, I don't know what I would have done. But <laughs> you look adorable. Can I have a hug? Hell yes! You're coming with me now. Hello? This is, this is it. Let's I cut you. It was the best moment of my life. Mainly because she was lovely, she was nice, and she's also the first drag queen that I ever saw. The advice that she gave to me um, it's probably going to help my future life. Yay! Let's go back to the hotel. This last week that we've been home, he's just, he was so down and low. I and mean, he's just like, oh, he just, yeah, he didn't even, I was quite surprised. I thought he would come home and like be telling everyone this is what I did. And he didn't talk to anybody about it at all. Sometimes I find being a kid really hard. I think it was because of the fact of it was just sort of we're back to reality here and I think he feels a bit unlucky that he was sort of that we live here and not somewhere like there where was where where he just didn't really stand out. I just wish I could be an adult. Next for Leo, we've got um, he's got one more one more term left at primary school, um, and then he's off to so off to secondary school. I think he might maybe find somebody. He's more likely to find somebody with his sort of interests. I think I am a good mum. I think everybody's just sort of every, yeah. Everyone everyone does the best for their children, and that's what I think I'm doing. And by supporting him in what he does, just the same as I support the rest of them in what they do. I think that's why he's so confident or so happy to just be himself and be out there regardless of what anybody else thinks because he can come home and not worry, you know, you can, you, can, you can come home away from all of that and not worry and he can talk to me about things and I'm really open about things.
What I would say to other kids or people in general who are watching this is just be you. And just be fabulous. Fabulous? Fabulous? Yes, fabulous. <laughs>